Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fulfilling people's needs as a duty and a recommended deed. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in His ever glorious book, Do good so that you may succeed. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Almighty Allah is the most compassionate, the most merciful. He removes people's troubles, forgives their sins, and shows his mercy to them in this world and the hereafter. Fulfilling people's needs is one of the noble values that our religion calls for, and it is one of the most beloved deeds to Allah. Islam considers those who possess this value as the dearest people to Allah, as our Prophet, peace be upon him, said the most beloved people to Allah are those who are most beneficial to people. And the most beloved deeds to Allah are bringing happiness to a Muslim, relieving him from distress, paying off his debt, or preventing hunger from him. And helping my brother who is in need is dearer to me than secluding myself in this mosque, meaning the mosque of Medina, for a month. Allah, glory be to Him, has promised those who fulfill people's needs safety, salvation, and relief from distress in this life and the hereafter. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, <clears throat> Good works protect from evil fates, and charity in secret extinguishes the, the wrath of the Lord, and protects against evil death and maintaining family ties increases, increases lifespan. People who do good in this life are the same people who will do good in the hereafter. He, peace be upon him, also said, whoever fulfills his brother's need, Allah will fulfill his need. And whoever relieves a Muslim's distress, Allah will relieve his distress on the day of resurrection. In addition, fulfilling the needs of people is one of the characteristics of the chosen prophet, peace be upon him. When Moses, peace be upon him, arrived at the water of Median, he found a group of people watering their animals, and he found two women who were not able to water their animals until the stronger men finished watering their animals. When he knew their need, he approached them and watered their animals. The Almighty Allah says, When he arrived at Median's waters, he found a group of men watering their flocks, and beside them two women keeping their flocks back. So he said, What is the matter with you two? They said, We cannot water our flocks until the shepherds take their sheep away. Our father is a very old man. He watered their flocks for them withdrew into the shade and prayed, My Lord, I am in dire need of whatever good thing you may send me. And the Prophet's wife, Khadijah, once told him, peace be upon him, that by Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. You keep good relations with your kith and kin, help the poor and the destitute, serve your guests generously, and assist the deserving calamity afflicted ones. His life, peace be upon him, was the best example to follow in fulfilling the needs of people. However, fulfilling people's needs may be obligatory and may be recommended. It may be obligatory such as paying zakah, which is one of the five pillars of Islam. Through zakah, people's needs are fulfilled and their distresses are relieved. As Allah said, take from their wealth a charity by which you purify them. Allah also said He will replace whatever you give in charity. He is the best of providers. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Islam is built upon five pillars. The testimony that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, establishing the prayer, giving the zakah, making the pilgrimage to the house, and fasting during Ramadan.
When contemplating the glorious Quran, one finds that the Almighty Allah mentions both zakah along with prayer, which is the greatest and most important obligation in Islam. This indicates the significance of zakah and encourages people to adhere to pay it. Allah said, Keep up the prayer and pay the prescribed zakah. Whatever good you store up for yourselves, you will find it with Allah. He sees everything you do. Allah also said, Those who keep up the prayer, pay the prescribed zakah, and are certain of the hereafter. Fulfilling the needs of people covers the case of those who are assigned official responsibilities. Whatever of the nature of these responsibilities, they should facilitate people's affairs as our Prophet peace be upon him said facilitate things to people and do not make it hard for them all praise is due to Allah Lord of the worlds may Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him his companions and followers fulfilling people's needs may also be recommended through giving extra charity that supports the role of zakah in achieving its societal role Therefore, the Sharia urges and encourages it, as our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, there is a duty on wealthy aside from zakah. Then he recited this ayah, Goodness does not consist in turning your face towards east or west. The truly good are those who believe in Allah and the last day. In the angels, the scripture, and the prophets who give away some of their wealth, however much they cherish it, to their relatives or to orphans, the needy, travelers, and beggars, and to liberate those in bondage. It goes without saying that the reward of charity is great and its fruits are multiple, as the Almighty Allah said, those who believe do good deeds, keep up the prayer, and pay the prescribed zakah, will have their reward with their Lord, no fear for them, nor will they grieve. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, <clears throat> Two angels descend every morning, and one says, O oh Allah, give him who spends something in place of what he spends. The other one says, O oh Allah, give destruction to him who withholds. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, Indeed, charity extinguishes the Lord's anger and it protects against the evil death. How much we need to fulfill the needs of people through obligatory and recommended giving, whether it is obligatory zakah or recommended charity. In fact, helping the weak is a form of charity, relieving the distressed is a form of charity, helping those in need is a form of charity, and every good deed is a form of charity. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.